Hey everyone, my name is Joni Chevalier and I'm an editor and an indie author. Uh, welcome to my website and today I'm doing a video about redlining. A lot of, I found that a lot of people are confused when they receive a redline document, also known as track changes. They're confused because they don't, sometimes they don't see the red lines. They don't know how to view the different um, views that Redline offers. And so therefore they don't know um, what to do with the, the document. So today I'm gonna show you a few tricks that I've learned over the years and let's get started. So I'm gonna switch screens to, I'm gonna turn this off and I'm going to switch to my document. So let's just say you have a document that you sent to your editor and it comes back with track changes. Here are the track changes. Now, sometimes, let's, let's go back. Sometimes it comes back and it has no markup. So you say to your editor, you know, where's all the markups? I don't see any. So before you contact your editor, make sure that the tab that you go to the review tab, you go to the tracking section and you make sure you mark this drop down menu to all markup. And so there you can see all the changes. A lot of the times, when I send a document to somebody, they'll, they'll say that. They, they'll say, I don't see the, the revisions. The revisions are there. They're just not visible until you make sure they are seen. So until you go to the review tab and check this uh, drop down to all markup. So let's go to the beginning for a little bit, just so we're all on the same page and everyone knows what a track change is. So a track change is keeping track of your changes made to a document. So anything you do on this document with track changes selected will record and will be um, kept track of. So for example, um, so say for example, you want to track your changes um, before you revise. You just make sure that this is checked so it's highlighted. And then anything you do, it will be recorded. So you could do anything and it will be tracked. So let's say that you don't want to track certain things. You can do that in your own document. Like for example, I don't necessarily like to track changes for formatting. Um, I'll show you in a few minutes what it looks like if you have it in different views, but you'll see that if you track changes on formatting, if you don't have to, it really adds to a whole mess on your document. So unless I'm instructed to do so, I usually don't. So what you could do is within a document, if you're revising it, you can, uncheck it and then do your formatting changes these will be um, done on the document you just won't they just won't be tracked so once you do the formatting changes you know or um, especially formatting you, you probably want to keep track of all the other changes so I'm just going to format some now these will be, like I say, it will be done. Once you save this document, they will be done, but they just won't be tracked. So once you wanna do some more tracking, just make sure that that's checked and anything you do will be tracked. See, so this indicates that there was a change right here. And there you go. So you'll see in a minute what I mean. Now there's different views that you can do on a tracked um, changes document on a red line document is you can show them in different ways. Here are all the um, red line uh, marks that will be recorded. 
And here you will see that you, have, you can have different views. So choose how to show revisions in the document. So um, let's just go to show revisions in balloons and you will see what I mean about all the changes that you'll see in a balloon. Like for example, these are all the changes. And now you know why I don't like this view <laughs> because I, I don't really understand it because if you see something, you, you know, I guess you have to follow the little path. And to me, that's just so confusing. So I never do it that way. Now you can show commenting and formatting in balloons. That makes more sense. It's a little bit harder to see commenting in, in line. So it is good to have the balloons of commenting if you'd like, if you know there's comments in there, this is the easy way, is you can see the revisions in line and you can see the comments on the right. Now, another way you could do it is review panel. These are all the changes and the, the uh, commenting. So even if we take this off, you will still see the comments and all the changes. So say we wanna go to the next comment, we just do there and then there it is. And if we wanna go down here to see something, there was the word husband inserted, we don't, we wanna see why, we just go to it and it usually is up here on the first line. So you just keep going like that. Now, the next thing is a lot of people don't know, don't understand or don't know how to incorporate these changes in their manuscript after they receive it from their editor. Now, some people may do it the long way where you can minimize this, go to your original document, these, this is the, the manuscript I sent to the editor and you go, this is the one you receive from the editor and you go line by line, which you can see you will, and you have to add it to care up just yet. Now you can see that this will take forever to do. So I advise not to do it this way. I'm going to show you a very easy way to do it. So here's the document that I received from my editor. I want to very easily accept the changes. However, I do want to look through it and reject any of the changes I do not want kept. So the changes that I do want kept, I will keep there. The ones that I reject, I will get rid of. Okay, that's the easiest way to do this, and you'll see at the end how easy it'll be. Now, you might say, oh, you have to go through your whole document. Well, this, you know, our manuscripts, sometimes we've worked on these manuscripts for the last six to eight months, even to a year. We know our manuscripts. So I could do this very quickly. Um, you could just go through it real quick, and you could just read, read, and you say, you know what, I, I want that still in there. I don't want it deleted. My editor deleted it, but I, I want it. So what you could do is highlight it up here, reject it, reject change. So it's still there. See it un, there's no line through it. Say you don't want this change. You can reject it. So do that through the whole document. Just read it. Um, Reject the ones you don't want changed. So that's back in. You just have to make sure that you are catching the uh, spaces in between the words. Sometimes you don't catch them and there's two spaces or no spaces. So you can search and replace at the very end. You can search for two spaces and then replace with one. That's easy enough to do. So after you do that, let's just do one more just so you see. Now you don't want to um, accept what your editor put in so you have to reject it and notice I didn't reject the 
the comment. So I have to make sure you do that. And I could just simply delete it also. Okay. So you do that through your whole manuscript. And then these are the changes. You trust your editor that these are the best changes to do to your document. So what you can do now is after you reject all the ones you absolutely cannot keep, you then go up to accept, accept all changes, boom. Everything's done. You do not have to do it word by word, document by document, you know, document side by side. That's all you could do very quickly is reject all the ones you don't want to or can't live with and accept all at the end. So you notice that some of the comments are in here. Um, you can take, re take a look at them either this way or remember you could do the show market balloons, comments, you can go through them quickly. Um, either change it to um, make it clearer or um, you could delete the word, say, or change it, revise it. Um, now, it's, it's still in track changes, so you'll have to accept it again. Or before this, you could turn it off and it won't track the changes. But in this case, we'll just now go up here and delete all comments and document. Okay, so all the comments are gone. Everything's done except for that little pesky one. So I will just accept. There we go. Okay, now of course, you're going to change this document um, for your file as, say, I am um, final after editing. That's what I would do. Now, the next thing is, what if you send this document now to a proofreader or a beta reader and they um, have comments or revisions and it comes back to you? You accept or reject the, the um, changes and now you want to, to see um, the changes from this document to the very beginning. Say you sent this document to your editor, say, um, three months ago, and you don't really remember the changes because this is like the second draft, the second round of changes. Very, very easy to do. I'm just going to show you the very easiest way to do this. And believe me, it only takes less than a minute. So this is your document that has gone through a couple rounds of changes. You already saved it. You already know this is the document you're going to um, pull the document that was originally sent to the editor, like say three months ago. Very easy to do. In the review tab, under compare, you're just going to hit that compare two documents to see the differences. So you can choose that. Oops. In the original document, we're going to put uh, sent to editor. So, and if you've done this before, um, you could have other documents in here. Oops, I did the wrong one. Uh, sent to editor. And then the revised document is the document that um, you accepted all the changes once or twice. So I am for redlining. That's it, the original document versus the revised document. You're gonna press okay. And within seconds, a document's gonna pop up and this is gonna be the document with all the changes from day one to now to present. So this is gonna be all the rounds of, of changes. In case you wanna see, um, so of course you can you can um, change the name of this and save it if you'd like. Um, but that's a very easy way to do. The next time you receive something from an editor and you don't know uh, what to do or you're a little confused on how to see the changes, the first thing you want to do is when you open up the document, go to the review tab, 
show market and show revisions in line okay and then this one is you want to show all market make sure all market is done okay and then once you're done you save all those documents and if you have any questions about editing just please contact me at any time um, I do offer editing services on my website JoniChevalier.com. I have for affordable uh, prices for indie authors because I am one and I know how difficult it is to find an editor within your price range or my price range um, you're welcome to look at the testimonials I have a few um, and if you'd like to contact me you can either go to Joni Chevalier at yahoo.com or just go to my website and it already has one online and you can even watch a really cute video that I have you could um, also instant message me and that's about it for today I'm going to have a series of videos that I'm very excited to, sh to share with you on how to simple how to tricks that everyone should know so stay tuned and I'll see you next time.